Okay, this video is going to go over how to configure the ASA in transparent mode. Uh, basically, we're going to put our firewall between your router and the rich net. We're going to plug port 0 into the rich net. Uh, we're going to configure uh, port 1 into your router. And then we're going to configure the ASA for transparent mode. What does transparent mode mean? Transparent mode means that this router, sorry, this firewall is not a router. It is uh, working at layer 2, like a layer 2 bridge. It does not process the IP packets. It does not decrement the time to live. It does not look anything up in a routing table. Basically, the, the Ethernet frame comes in. The firewall processes that Ethernet frame so that it can inspect it. But then it rebuilds the frame if it's going to pass it on so that it looks exactly the way it looked when it came in. So it doesn't actually really touch the, the actual Ethernet frame or IP packet. It looks at it and then rebuilds it exactly the way it was before and puts it back on the wire on the other side. So the initial config we're going to do using the console. I have this diagram on here that shows a temporary management PC connected to the ASA. We're not necessarily going to do that right now, uh, but you are going to use the console connection of the ASA. And I've given you some, some command line commands to run to put your uh, ASA into transparent mode. So the first thing we need to do is get elevated privilege. Uh, default config, there is no password. We can use the show firewall command to see that it's in routing mode. And then we can use the firewall transparent command. That's a config T command. No. Firewall transparent to put in transparent mode. So once the firewall is in transparent mode, there's some commands we need to, to run. Essentially what we are doing is we are going to configure two interfaces uh, to be in a couple different VLANs and then we're going to configure those those VLANs to be in a bridge group and we're going to specify uh, which VLAN uh, and names the interfaces need. So first commands we're going to do is we're going to configure fast ethernet 0 slash 0 fast eth, I guess I can't, or net 0 slash 0 I don't know why that's complaining. And that it knows what the interface is called. Oh, it's just called Ethernet zero zero. I guess I'm used to the routers and switches we have. So first, we're going to do is configure interface Ethernet zero slash zero. We're going to tell it it's in VLAN two. Uh, VLAN two, and we're going to do no shutdown because it's currently shut down. Then we're going to configure Ethernet zero slash one is going to be in VLAN 1 and we're going to do no shutdown and then we're going to configure VLAN 2 interface uh, name interface uh, outside outside and we're going to tell it it's in bridge group 1 and then we're going to configure the VLAN 1 interface, same thing, name if inside, inside, bridge group 1, right? Now we want to put an interface, sorry, we want to put an IP address on the bridge uh, virtual interface. So this bridge group uh, associates the two ports together for, for which, which way for which one's the inside and which one's the outside. We want to connect to it for management, and the way we do that is by setting a IP address on the bridge virtual interface. Uh, this should be in the lab if your router is 192.168.243.103, then your bridge virtual interface should be .203. Uh, assume we want a net mask, right? All right, uh, we want to enable the HTTP server so we can connect to it with the ASDM, ADSM, whatever that thing's called, ASDM, whatever it's called. I can never get that straight. Uh, so we want to enable it, and we want to set it so that anybody can connect for now, make our lives easier. This basically says let anyone connect from any IP address on the inside interface. All right, and we want to add a route uh, to the inside. So for our management network traffic, we want to send that inside. 
a default route, and we want to send that to your router. So in this case, I said your router was 243.103, so that's what we'll put there. And that is the very initial config of the um, of the ASA in transparent mode.